What's up y'all, it's Waxhead again. Um, in this video I'm going to be covering an alternate way to loop. Um, and it also be in real time. Uh, more on that in a second. You understand what I'm saying in a second. But um, this video is going to be geared towards people who have a hard time wrapping their heads around using the uh, bass note when they're looping. Um, that number that you put in the box or the... Um, the note signature, whether it be quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, if that whole thing um, kind of freaks you out, then this may be a method that will help you out. Now, mind you, there are a few extra steps in it, so if you already know how to use a bass note, you're probably cool. You might want to try this just for shits and giggles, but um, like I said, it's geared towards people having a problem with the, uh, the bass note feature. Uh, one more thing, the only thing you need to be able to do on this is count to four. If you can count to one, two, three, four, you are good. So with that, um, we're going to dig into uh, this technique. All right, um, let's illustrate an example. Let's make an assumption. Let's say uh, you have a loop that you want to loop over a beat. Uh, let's say you're testing out a couple beats on a couple MIDI tracks, and I already did that for an example. Um, the assumption is that the beats are two bars. That's eight beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. Now, you need a loop that is eight beats, which is two bars or two measures. Um, and let's say that you have one in mind. Now you already got your two beats that you want to um, have this loop play over top of. So let's get to the looping part. Now here's the twist. Even though you're looking for an 8 beat loop, you always take 9 or 10. I'll explain that in a second. Let me use this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's what I'm gonna take. Now, what you wanna gonna wanna do is uh, truncate the beginning of the sample. And I already did that. Just the beginning. You wanna make sure you got that lined up. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come down in here into your pattern list. You got your pattern, and you hit pattern parameter. Now the length is two measures because it's two bars, eight beats. You're going to want to change that to three or four. Just longer than your audio sample. And you hit close. Now after you've done that, you go to your audio track. You're going to hit shift and record. You're going to make sure your step time is on freeze. And then you're going to hit the pad with the audio freeze on it. So now that's in there, as you can see on top. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back down to the pattern list, pull that pattern up, and you're gonna hit the pattern parameter and change that back to two. If you don't do it this way, the audio freeze will be cut off at two bars. Now that you have the audio phrase dropped on the audio track, now here's where the real time part that I said earlier comes in. Um, I haven't said anything about BPM yet because it really doesn't matter, but um, let's just hear our audio phrase. Okay, it's off. Now, this is why it's real time. You're going to unmute one of your tracks to hear the audio phrase against and then we're going to play with the BPM till it locks
it is, it's locked in at 101.5. You can mute it and try it against another uh, pattern. Now once that locks, now we move on to the next step. Alright, the next step is uh, resampling what you have. Um, this is easy, you just go into the resample screen, You're gonna your start trigger is going to be play, your stop trigger is going to be beat, and it's going to be 8 beats. Um, you mute everything else out, we have other MIDI tracks going, you mute those out, you just want the audio track. And then you basically hit start and let it do its thing. Oh, that's right, you gotta hit play. Now, what you do after you've done your resample is you go to the old audio phrase, you right click it, you erase it, you hit shift record, make sure it's on phrase. And the pad where you put the uh, the resample new audio phrase, you tap it, it's in there. And at this point, what you can do is you can right click it, audio event parameter at the bottom, open that up. You can turn your uh, BPM sync on. And um, you can play with the tempo now. You can make it faster. Make it slower. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you can also go into the audio event parameter and change the tune. Up or down. Like I said, uh, it's kind of a roundabout way of doing things, but if you don't understand the, uh, I guess the way Roland handles the looping and and the BPM matching and time stretching and all the other stuff that involves that, this is probably an easier way to look at it. But like I said, there's a few more steps involved. Um, if it helps anybody, cool. If it don't, cool whatever um it's just something to throw out there that uh that may help so uh this is wax that signing off peace and i'm out